There are times when you want the absolute minimum size in a concealed carry gun, and you're willing to give up ballistics to get it. When you're working with a less powerful cartridge, it's even more important to make sure and hit your target. Here's one great way to do that. You know, Aaron, I've shot a lot of mini revolvers like this, but something about this one is different. You know what the best gun to have is the one you have with you. You have a big 1911, but you can't put it in the palm of your hand. You can put in this in the palm of your hand, plus you're going to have some laser accuracy. Uh-oh, very nice. Welcome, guys, to Gallery of Guns. Joining us today is Aaron Moore, Vice President of Laser Light, otherwise known as Laser Man. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about this gun. All right, these little revolvers have come a long way. They've been out for several years now. Uh, they shoot multiple calibers, and uh, they're fun to shoot, but it's always fun because you could have them around. Uh, they shoot a 22 Magnum round, which is enough to stop, stop anybody that's really one trying to hurt you. And you're at least going to give them five rounds of leave me the heck alone. I'm serious about protecting myself. Is it really a useful defensive gun? It absolutely can be. The Hornady Critical Defense 22 Magnum loads now have some great ballistics uh, for self-defensive ammo that can be quite comparable to a 380 auto. Okay, so where does laser light come into the picture? Well, we right on the grip area. So this is our third model of a laser for the North American arms. Uh, but this one is totally different because it's completely integrated into the grip area. Uh, and it has the same look and feel as your stock grips. And what's the difference? The difference is everything is built into one unit here. There's an activation button here, batteries on the side, plus this, this little part up here has the laser all built in it. And the laser is actually pointing straight up, but in our patent pending periscope, since it's straight along the bore of the gun, where the, where the bullet's going to come out. Okay, so it replaces the existing grips without any gunsmithing? Yep. What you're going to have to do is use about one screw. So you're going to take off your stock panels, you're going to take the two halves, put it in there, and then you're going to use one screw to tighten it down, and then it's going to be locked in securely on your pistol. Very nice. So uh, your middle finger turns it on when you grip the gun. Exactly. Uh, when you shoot these guns, and you're familiar with it, like, like I am, it's pretty much a one finger grip you have to have on there and the other fingers for the, for the trigger. When you grip it with that one finger, it turns it on and you hold the gun tight so you're ready to shoot it and that's all it is. And tell us about where you adjust uh, the windage and elevation. Yeah, windage and elevation are located right here on the, on the laser periscope part of it. Uh, what's cool about the full adjustment on this is you can actually get replacement cylinders to shoot a 22 long rifle. It's a lot cheaper to ammo if you could find it. Uh, but it will change the ballistics, so you can sight it into different types of ammo gotcha. and different ballistic loads. Okay, and what sort of batteries does it use? Uh, it uses three 392 batteries, then the battery cap's located right here. And the cool thing about this, you don't have to take the laser off your gun ever again. You just take this battery cap out, replace them, and put them back in. And let's talk about children for a second and not pointing that laser at each other. Yeah, of course, with anything else, uh, gun safety is first and foremost. You must point the gun in, in a safe direction. Um, just because I have a laser in it, some people may forget that to uh, point it in the safe direction because they're playing with the laser so much. Right. Well, just point it in the safe direction and then that's where the laser needs to go as well. Now, how do you think it stands up to carrying? Perfectly fine. The body's made out of 55% uh, glass filled nylon. It's a very uh, tough and durable plastic. It actually has a little protective piece of glass here that protects any fuzz or any, any debris getting over the lens system on the laser. So you have a nice crisp dot all the time. Um, it's probably just as good or just as durable as, as the factory grips on it. That's right. You know, this is a gun that really benefits from a laser. The factory sights are very small and the sight radius is only a couple of inches. So when I was shooting it, it is a bit of a challenge, but when you put the laser on it, piece of cake. Well, if you like this gun and you're not sure what, whether to buy it or not, well, this should just put you right over there because this is this, the decision maker on buying. You definitely should. And remember the first rule, to a gunfight is to bring a, bring a gun. <laughs> the second rule of a gunfight is to make sure you have a laser on it. And laser light will help you with both of these. Sounds like a plan. If your mini revolver needs a laser, just go to galleryofguns.com and select the Gun Genie. Enter your zip code and the Gun Genie will display a list of Gallery of Guns affiliated dealers in your area with the prices they'll ask for it. Order with a major credit card and you can be using it within a few days.